This is a quick demonstration of how a traveling salesman problem or TSP could be set up with the Monte Carlo tree search and the deep learning like it was done in the game of uh, Go in DeepMind AlphaGo. The idea is to see how well this architecture could work in the domain of TSPs and uh, uh, vehicle routing problems. So say that we have a TSP with uh, eight nodes and uh, we have a different start and end location. It's uh, one of the many versions of TSPs. And we now want to find out what the order is to pass through all these nodes from the blue to the red with a minimal total distance traveled. Uh, we can see here that there are six possible first moves and uh, we now give one thread worker to each of these moves and roll out paths uh, from them uh, in the following way. So now we reach the bottom and um, we calculate the total distance traveled uh, uh, here, uh, that's the V's value. And then we send this value upstream toward the starting moves. And the N stands for the number of times uh, uh, the state has been seen, and that's incremented at each step. And uh, then we do another roll at the exact same way and send back the values upstream. And they are uh, updated by an incremental mean. So then uh, we have the, the most promising state, which is this one. And then we move down the one step, and then we start the same procedure from here. So we start uh, new workers for each possible move, and then we uh, do more rollouts. The interesting thing about this approach is that uh, the next move decisions are made uh, based on the current live state. So uh, say that we put in changes to the map uh, in the middle of this procedure it can actually uh, adapt to these changes and output like different solutions based on what it, what it uh, deems uh, the most uh, promising at the moment. If this was a more complicated problem we would have to do many many rollouts from each thread worker to get uh, good approximations of V to avoid making uh, wrong decisions. In DeepMind AlphaGo the default is 1600 but in this demo we only do two. We also don't need to store the whole tree. Uh, we can uh, throw away branches that uh, aren't looking uh, promising. So I'll show that in another example with a slightly more difficult 16 node uh, TSP. So it's a little hard to see, but there are 16 uh, nodes in there and we're moving from top left to bottom right. And it's doing three rollouts uh, per uh, state threat worker and uh, throwing away bad uh, branches at each uh, level. Uh, we can note that uh, at this stage it has uh, no idea what the optimal uh, solution is, but it keeps moving forward uh, based on the most uh, promising values that are coming from beneath. This is uh, called uh, Monte Carlo tree search, and uh, the, the next step is to link up all of these images that are created in this tree to a convolutional neural network architecture that can learn to estimate how promising uh, uh, these paths are without doing any rollouts at all. So at this stage, for example, we would send these images that have been seen two times and their corresponding uh, Monte Carlo generated values to the ConvNet architecture to train on. And it would learn how to associate values with images of paths. When the training would be done, all we would have to do at each level is to uh, query the uh, ConvNet one time instead of, for most standard TSP or VRP models, iterate a bunch of candidate solutions like uh, rollout, rollouts for example and that would be a comparatively fast uh, and also a noise robust system but the question is of course to what extent it is possible to train a continent based architecture to do these kind of problems what about constraints for example or how many nodes it could do how many vehicles or uh, how, how big the map could be in go the map is uh, 19 times 19 pixels and uh, alpha go is still considered a huge achievement so thanks for listening